All right. Blessings upon blessings. Thank you so much for being a part of this broadcast. My name is Ruben Arana. This is Worship Word Art, the Sunday evening edition, the Sunday night edition. Big shout out to everybody coming through. Absolutely appreciate that. We are going to do a little bit of painting, a little bit of prophesying, a little bit of healing, a little bit of hearing what thus saith the Lord. So I'm super excited about that. And if you're catching this on the replay, don't forget that you can share the broadcast out with your friends and followers. That's always an appreciated thing. And actually, you know what would be kind of cool if you're watching this on the replay, do like a hashtag replay. If you're watching this like on, on Periscope, I mean, it's not Periscope, hashtag replay on Facebook and or on on YouTube, right? Because you'll have the comments there. All right. So let me say what's up real quick to some fantastic people that are in the broadcast. I see uh, Diane is here. Great to see you. Blessings. And Helene, blessings to you as well. Blessed Lee is here. Now, of course, if you want, if you want me to see who you are, right, you have to make a comment because the way this is structured. I'm not going to be able to see who's actually in the broadcast, right? So I can't see the who's in the broadcast, but when you make a comment, then I can see your comment. And for those of you who haven't done this yet, if you're if you're watching this on on a Facebook page, uh, I, there's a link above me that should say StreamYard slash Facebook. If you click on that on that link, it'll allow you to put allow to StreamYard to get permission to put your name in the comments, right? So that would be absolutely cool. So here's, and here's what I mean by that. So for example, right now, that person that said this is going to be amazing, right? It only has their Facebook user. So it doesn't have their name, but on YouTube, it'll, you know, I'll, I'll see that Pamela said that. So you have to click on the link. And so Z, my sister right there, she has clicked on the link and now she's, she's able to, I'll, I'm able to see who, who made the comments. All right. I see you. Paula is here. Blessings upon blessings to you, Paula. Hey, Pastor Simmons. Yo, Pastor S. Lamar Simmons is here. Uh, Pastor, guess who? I got, I got Joshua with me tonight. So Joshua, uh, J, J Rivers Music is in the building with me tonight. So blessings upon blessings to, to you as well. Okay. And definitely do me a favor because, because we're doing this through StreamYard, there, there tends to be a, the, the notifications tend to go out much less when you're when I'm restreaming, so definitely make sure that you share the broadcast out so that other people can get notifications. Because I I've literally seen, pe you know, people with their phones and the notific the notification doesn't go to them uh, for whatever reason. And so if you can share it out, that will help to multiply the notification and alerts, and we can go from there. All right. All right, we can see all the comments on Periscope this time. Awesome. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, very cool. Uh, Pastor, I might have to get you, I might have to get you to be a guest one time. <laughs> I might have to get you to do some do some prophet preaching uh, one time. <laughs> all right, so let me go ahead and introduce my uh, the two guests tonight uh, most of you will already already know who they are right but if you don't know who they are some fantastic individuals that are going to join me this evening some strong men of god and i want to introduce to you joshua rivers you just have to watch youtube for all the comments okay excellent all right so there's Joshua. Blessings upon blessings to you, sir. Super excited about uh, us hanging out again. 
Last week was awesome, had a fantastic time. And so uh, this week we are expecting nothing less than a Holy Spirit inspired session. So big shout out to the bro. Uh, absolutely appreciate you. Did you want to say what's up to the people real quick or? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear my we mic? We can hear you. Yeah, yeah, let's do a quick mic check. What's up everybody <laughs> and my keyboard coming through, okay? Yeah, keyboard's coming through. Hey, Ness, great to see you. Blessings. Terry's here. Great to see you as well. All right. Awesome. And then my awesome brother, Kenneth D. Morrow. All right. He is also here. So big shout out to Kenneth. Great to see you, bro. All right. Great to be here as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this... Oh, go ahead. I saw him say I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. man. So after, yeah, I'm, this, I'm, after this session, we have to have a bro session because I need help growing a beard because I just feel like <laughs> I'm the only one in this panel that doesn't have a beard. <laughs> I need to be raised in this. <laughs> beard beard be a part of the beard -um. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And you know what, too? I just realized we got you got we, we got you sandwiched. So it's like yes, exactly. beard to the oh, left, beard to the right. Beard. <laughs> it's more obvious. I was like, beer, beer, and oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. headphones, this guy. Right, right. <laughs> all right. So, very cool. Um, all right. So, this evening, we're going to do some, uh, play some worship. I'm going to do some painting. And one of the things that's a little bit different about this is this is actually a little bit of a, a, a client uh, designer type of conversation that I that that you're being you're that you're a part of as well. So I want to go into a little bit more of that later on. But this this is this is going to be more than just a painting in terms of something here. You know, it's going to be something that is going to be used in the I in I guess it you could say in the professional realm. Is that is that a good way to put it? Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me put this down here and then Paula said, what's up to you, Kenneth? Hey, Paula. Well, she said, she said blessings. <laughs> blessings upon blessings. <laughs> hey. All right. Oh, Pastor Ron Pitts is here. Blessings to you hey, as well. Ron. All right. Pastor Ron Pitts, blessings to you. Okay. So let me go ahead and minimize here and so Joshua is there anything that you want to let us know about what it is that you're going to be painting I mean uh, playing or you're just going to flow or I'm just going to flow I don't really have anything preconceived I'm just okay no problem flow. Um, I think we're on this adventure with the Holy Spirit together which is amazing Okay, um, very good. Yeah, that's all I got to say. I guess we're just going to play. And okay. What comes out. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting and let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, for your continued guidance and love. We pray right now that you open up our hearts to receive instruction. Help us to hear what you have us to hear. Help us to speak what you have us to speak. Help us to see what you have us to see, Lord, and use our hands to do your work. We pray right now that as we go forth, that all audio is clear, that technical, all technical requirements have been met and that your spirit flow to bring about healing, conviction, edification and glory to your name. Amen. All right. Pastor Carmen, great to see you. All right, blessings upon blessings. Yeah, I am going to be painting. Is everything sounding okay over there before I start? Uh, it, sound, it sounded a little quiet. Sound a little quiet? Okay. Cool. Yeah, it sounds like it could use a little bit of a volume boost. What about that? That's a lot better. Okay, cool. I just wanted to sound check before we got started <laughs> yeah cool all right you ready man can it can it go up can it go up any more yeah i can give about this yeah that sounds good cool. 
All right, let's go for it. Cool. All right.
Hey, Nicole. Hey, Sister Morena, blessings. Hey, Raquel, great to see you.
Thank you.
Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. 
All right, I think I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Amen. Thank you so much. All right. Bring my brother in quick. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, okay, so actually, you know what? Let me let me back up a little bit and just mention what it is that the painting is about or of. All right, so on this table, man, this I'm already excited, yo. Okay, out there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. On this table, we have a 
five bowls and number of grays. We could say we could say they're golden. We could say they're yellow. We could say they're they're brass or or something metallic. But five bowls uh, uh, that are in this yellowish color, and then pouring into each of these bowls is a liquid, whether it be oil or whether it be water. Right, it's coming from a heavenly source. And, and yeah, so that's that's what it is, right? So that's, hey, Prophet D.T. Miller's here, and Jahaz, I see you, blessings to you. And so, yeah, so that's, that's what that is. And I want to include my brothers in this conversation as I talk a little bit, as we talk about what the significance of this is. And I... Let me see. I'm going to put you in the middle again. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, oops. Uh, this and then this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you know what? I like that better because then it, you can see the full, the full range. Okay, all right, very cool. So, so Prophet, what? Yes, sir. You you called me up and said, "Hey, I need a, I need a design for my blog." Yeah. And do you have what you sent me? Or, or can you can you tell us? Yes, uh, I talk do. Talk to us about. Yeah. So, so what what were the instructions? What what were you what were you hearing about your blog that? Yeah. That you so wanted to display. In, <clears throat> in this manner, I sent you um, a request. I had one about my first entry post, and then one about the concept of the blog. And so, what you're what you have displayed here. Uh, with very to little <laughs> conversation is the true essence of what the father has shown me as far as the concept of the blog and the concept of the blog is called measures of his love. And so it's interesting that you chose the number five as it represents, you know, an element or the measure of grace. Right. And so we're looking at that. Um, Ruben, this is very profound because uh, there was a time period in my life where the Lord was showing me how to drink of him. And he showed me a table with five cups. So to see God use you with five bowls, you see what I'm saying? Oh, wait, wait, you're playing, you're playing, right? That's that's a vision that you saw? I mean, yes. Yeah, I will send you my notes from years ago when I wrote this down. When he showed me, he said to drink of my love. And I saw five cups. Each cup was labeled. You're playing. No, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, man. I will find my notes, man, and I will send you from, you know, when I put it in my notes. But, yeah, man. And so thinking about the measure of his love, man, this is this is so good, right? So what we're receiving of, of, of from the, what you were talking about from above is Christ. Christ is our measure. He, we, we are receiving of him. When you look at Hebrews 12 and 3, it talks about, for I say that the grace given unto me to everyone who is among you, you know, to take not of, uh, of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Faith, right? We're talking about Jesus, who is our, the very um, essence of faith. We're receiving a measure of himself in us. And for lack of a better words, we are the bowl. We are the container. And he's pouring himself into us that we might be able to steward him ah. well, right? And it's according Come to on. the, it's according to, um, the measure that he has for us. Remember, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so he's literally giving us what we can handle of himself. We just need to steward the portion that he's giving unto us well. And so it's like for me, sometimes through seasons, I, I, I can discern when I'm receiving another measure because he's trying to let me learn more about him. And so I need to behold what it is that he's releasing unto me. Not only that I am filled with it, because that's what's happening right now. There is a feeling. There is a feeling that's happening, but there's also a becoming, you know, when you begin to take hold and really uh, gravitate onto what it is that he's doing. Mm. 
And so in that man, like measure really means a limited portion. The bowl can only handle so much, right? So we should rejoice with the measure, with the portion that he has graced us of himself. So there's going to be more conviction, more truth, right? More reliance upon Christ, because that's really all it was about. More persuasion and believing in who he is, that he says that he is, as he's making himself being proven true in you. And when you talk about the table, this is a very great depiction, right, of what the Lord has showed me. Again, with very little to no conversation. Yeah, uh, for real, y'all. I mean, we we had a, maybe a couple of texts, and yeah. he, he had, yeah, we did not talk about what this final thing was going to be. You know, we talked to, yeah, so this because is, what I'm, I'm, text, I'm blown just, away. I'm blown away right now. Because what you sent me in a text, Ruben, is not that. Right. Right. Okay. But the, the good thing about this, the depiction that you that the Lord used you to place the table means that there is an invitation that you have to come to participate, to receive, right? So when you have a table, that means that there is an invitation. That means that, that he wants to be intimate with you. That means that he's preparing something of himself for you, but you have to come and engage him to receive of him, right? So he's he, this is a this is an invitation for intimacy. This is an invitation for intimacy and it literally through the seasons, because I, I think how I see uh, Ruben is that it's smaller and then the bowls get bigger. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It, th there's a gradual increase as you uh, prove yourself yes. to be faithful over the Come measure on. that he has oh. given to you. Yeah, so that's, that's, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. And so we should not be, we should not covet someone else's measure. You don't know what they've been through before to get to where they are with the measure that's been given unto them. But steward Oof. your measure well, right? Steward your season well. Steward your cup well and be faithful over that and truly behold and become what it is that he's really trying to release unto you because there is a feeling of that's happening. So, amen. Listen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. That's, 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 that's blow. Well, you know, I, I guess at some point I'm supposed to get used to it. Right. I, I, they that's what I'm supposed I guess I'm supposed to get used to 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 this kind of thing. I'm still mm -hmm. not used to it. Right. I'm still blown away. I'm still acting like yeah. this, like this is the first time a, you know, something, a, a, an image made a connection and was even though I don't like the term, it was, quote unquote, accurate. But but I, I still get blown away from that. And I just yeah. thank the Holy Spirit for for using us. Yeah. Uh, but okay, so so Josh, I would love to hear because I I heard something at towards the end that I recognized. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was something that it was some like a, a like a well known hymn or something like that. Like that, and and can you maybe talk about what what you were thinking as you were playing, and and yeah, and just maybe just elaborate on on your, on what you were hearing as you were playing? Um, okay, I will try. <laughs> I got <laughs> this a lot. Um, the song was, um, There Was None Like You. Um, That's what it was, yeah. And I guess I'm gonna be transparent. I've been in this real place of the Lord's been teaching about beautiful transparency because uh -huh. I'm understanding um, for certain ones to be reached for God, we're gonna have to unveil kind of kind of against our level of comfortability sometimes to really share the truth about where we are. I personally um yesterday just received some like messages from just you know just you know people always like sometimes saying things or whatever you know you guys know how that is, but right. It was a moment like, and it was very disturbing to even kind of play at church this morning because just the weight of what was being said was just really, and I'm very hard on myself person as, as probably, you know, when you do ministry, you kind of are sometimes because um, you want to do the right thing. So just weighing on that, but you know, so I, I still was like, I actually was going to not going to come on tonight, but I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, even in what I was experiencing to be obedient. Cause I realized it's not about me. It's about what God wants to do. Um, so what I think about that, before I explain the music, what I, what I want to elaborate is the art in um, Prophet Mara, what you're saying, is um, something the Lord shared me in the beginning of the summer. It is important for us to be in the posture for pouring. I think that, you know, there's a lot that God wants to pour into our measure, 
but there's not a lot of people that are there's not a lot of people that are still for him too poor, you know. Oh my God, I didn't even think about it like that. He told me he told me around the spring he was like, son, he's like, I want to pour into my people, but I can't pour into a glass on the table that keeps moving. So oh my God, my friend, oh. we're, we're, the flow of God is in the in the in the posture. You Come know, on, God is not. When you're really in the realm of the Holy Spirit, and please correct me if I'm wrong, because you guys are older than faith, but please correct me if I'm wrong. When you're in the real, I feel like when you're in the real flow of God by experience, there is a settled, there's a settledness that comes with it when you're really mature in faith. I sometimes I look around and I think there's a lot of chaos that's going on in the pulpit and everything because people aren't really being settled in God, meaning to pour. And I can prove by scripture that be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. There is an abundance. I just really feel the Holy Spirit. There is really an abundance in being in position. And if you are listening to us right now and you find a drought in your life, maybe you need to examine where your posture is in God. Yes, sir. And where is your posture? Uh, and if you're not, if you're a prophet and you haven't heard nothing new, what's your posture about what God has said? Is my question. Oof. What is your posture about the application? Because before manifestation is application, Come how on. you applied what God said the last season. There Come are on. people even on Prophet and there are even people that you're looking for something to do while this pandemic is happening. And you haven't worked with the plan that God gave you last season. Because a lot of time God prepares us for famine so his people can prosper. Yes. But, <laughs> move for now. I don't want to take up too much time. No, but, no, go ahead. Go, go. <laughs> but there is really a posture. I feel like God will pull, he will he will download business plans, strategies, albums, music, career plans, finances, the people that have the right posture. Hear me, whoever that is for. If you get the right posture, a lot of times God's asked for our heart when we're asking him for things. He says, seek me first meaning give me the heart, mind, and the soul first. Then you can be poured in. Then you can live the abundant life. There are a lot of people asking God for things, but they're not giving him the posture he requested. When Elijah went to Mount Carmel, he gave God the sacrifice of posture. Come on. He gave mm. God what was not. God has never been moved by convenient sacrifice, people. Oh. It is your, Come on. your obedience in the, in the pressing place that will cause God to pour into that is the posture that the Holy Spirit is asking for. And for me, personal testimony, we were while we were playing and worshiping, and I really thank God. I don't this is my first time meeting you for tomorrow, but I really feel just really oddly connected to you for some reason. Okay. Like, That's you know, what happens. You get the <laughs> Holy Spirit, and I felt a release. And I and like that burden that was in my heart, God opened it up. And he and I begin to say, where the why begin to play there is not like you, because I begin to believe like God, this is for you. Like this isn't for the people in their commentary. This is for you. This is yeah. what this is for. So God, I give you this. This is for you. Yeah. Um, that's just kind of some revelation, Lord, is important to me about like sometimes worship leaders. We're still trying to get all these new sounds, trying to fix all these click tracks. We're trying to play all these nice chords, and sometimes it's good to steal and hear what God is trying to say. Yeah. Because God is not in the business. I want to update somebody. This is a man that is an eternal, like he's eternal. Things that are moving us and having us get in panic, God's not panicking. <laughs> he's sovereign. He's omniscient. Things that, and if you if you feel yourself in that posture, you will find that you will begin to hear the heaven perspective. And a lot of situations that we're panicking about that are this big in the mind of God. Oof. Come on. In the, Oof. In the spectrum of eternity, COVID-19 is this big in the spectrum of eternity. Mm -hmm. God, right. we are living out God's divine plan. He is predestined. That's why the Bible says you rest in the finished work of Christ. Meaning that when Christ died, your ministry was already handled. Mm -hmm. Your career was already handled. We have to rest in the finished work and move at his pace. That's what I like about the picture. It's orderly. Everything is in order. Mm -hmm. And God is calling for order and posture. That's what I felt in my heart as we were kind of in this moment. And I thank you both because I really felt the strength is being connected to men of God, and I needed that. Like, is I can play at home by myself and record, but when you have people of God connected to you, you gather like the like Paul said, you gather strength from the saints. And so, I really appreciate being able to you know, create in this moment with you guys. It's really been awesome. Oh man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Sorry if I talk. All right, you. You know no, I no, man, you you better, <laughs> man, you better take that apology back. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, so I've. Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. 
I went through many different notes, but I I see why I first started the, the understanding of this and I saw a table with five cups and it was um, August 27, 2015. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. Yeah. Amen. And I just want to agree with what he was talking about. It is surely a posture. When I look at this, the these um, cups or what have you, the bowls, um, truly they are that that's a posture of true submission. And when he was talking about the settling, um, that you 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 will not go anywhere until you become settled into what he yeah. says. And that settling really is giving up your will. You you do you you're giving up the right to have your own way. And you agree with him having his entire way, you know, it's not, it's not just a confession, but it's, it's in your doing, it's your posture, your, your heart is showing that. And so again, man, this is very profound. And it's like, you know, he's inviting us to submit to him, to receive of him, to be edified of him as he fills us with himself, you know, so. If I, can, if I can add to what Pat Martha was for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> go, go. I, I love is, it, yo. There is, when God invests into us, Come on. There is wisdom with the investment. Mm -hmm. oh. Especially for my generation, I hear a lot of God's given me to do this, God has given me that. But how many of us are like Mary at the feet of Jesus to get wisdom for that investment? Um, I think that this is a great time of, of national, international stillness because there is a new level of stewardship and discipline God is trying to usher to his church. Come on. I know that's not really popular, <laughs> but it's real because there's a lot of words that he has said, we've gotten really word hung, we, and we, where we kind of made the prophetic a fad and not a ministry. Come on. It's not a fad. Like, you know, if I was on here saying, you know, how's the car, it's like it's a fad, you know, but the true word of God is one of instruction people of God. Mm -hmm. A true word of God comes from instruction. Even when he's encouraging you, he's encouraging to instruction. Even when he yeah. gives a prophetic word about that. And I think that, you know, um, Prophet Mar, you're a great demonstration. Both of you are, like you guys, what you're sharing about what you're doing right now, what you got years ago, you sought God for wisdom of the investment. Like mm -hmm. it's a continuation. Like mm -hmm. I, and I know, I know both of you had to be in the presence to get that instruction about what God was saying next, because it wasn't about just the idea; it was about the process of the idea and what He wants to do in the process of the investment. Mm -hmm. You know, even and it, so, it is the spirit, so it's natural. Even businessmen, CEOs, they make plans for two or five years. They don't just right. say, oh, okay, we got a new product that we just gonna launch. You know, there's marketing, there's financial things into it, there's mm -hmm. media that's involved. There's a whole committee that works that that, that puts the legs on that vision. And I, one of the greatest examples of this is Solomon. God showed him the dimensions of the temple. He showed him how to honor him. He even yep. showed him what would happen if the people straight away, he showed them what to do. And that's what we get if my people, if my people was not just a random scripture, it was yes. it was your way. This is what you return to. And that's right. specifically what's going on with our nation, and our world. God is calling for a return. This is where you return to. When you lose your way, this is where you return to. Um, mm. I really Great thank God. God. I really feel a strong, even on my heart right now, a real God is trying to give someone strong instruction. Like even about where your finances are going to go in this coming year. Like there is this a season of instruction and stewardship for sure. Great. Yeah, that's that's you said I want to reiterate that point of of the cup the bowls aren't sliding around all over the place mm -hmm. they're yeah. staying still in that position I, I mean that's that's a that's a beautiful revelation and I thank the Holy Spirit for that yes, Lord. Uh, so yeah so be in that still place and and you know what I'm oh snap okay here's another part of the instruction I'm hearing that there will be people who will who will be able to see where the downpour is coming from. Yeah. Hallelujah. And be able to move to that place and that position and be able to sit in that place in a be still in that position. So yeah. I'm 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 prophesying right now that you're going to be able to see where the pouring is happening. Where the and be able to move and mm. sp be still in that place. Um, let, and you know what? Let me even let me even break that down so we're not talking about you know something yeah. so spiritual that we don't understand what that means. Yeah. The position is a place in your heart. Yes, sir. Right. So it is not about going to, you know, 
the fourth and 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 Monroe. It's not about going to to that corner of that street. Yeah. It's about a position in your heart mm -hmm. that is towards God. Exactly. That's the position. And so you're going to start to see, right? And what and what and what that means is it's a, a spiritual discernment mm -hmm. on where God is pouring his his presence, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you would then you will be able to turn in 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 the spiritual sense, you're going to be able to turn and face that downpour and be able to be still in that position and get all of the information that is coming from that downpour that measure that 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 you were you were speaking of right that that's in the sense of the the whole the whole dynamic of the, the design you know it's that that measure of grace that measure of of his love that measure of his uh, of of himself measure of himself, himself right it's a yeah. measure of himself absolutely yeah. Yeah. and so so let me take it back a little bit and uh to when i was actually working when i was thinking about this and and kenneth sent me sent me that message and the first thing that i was seeing at when i was working on this was i heard fathers pour into your sons, right? That's what I heard. When, especially when Joshua started talking about, uh, you know, need, uh, just needing this conversation and, and the men here and all of that. That was actually what I heard first. And I heard, yeah, so I heard fathers pour into your sons. And then I, and then I saw the image of, of this, of this man and these, these other men behind him. Right, in, kind of in a row type of thing, and I started to process that, and I started to think also along the lines of, of the of what Kelv was saying in terms of the measurement, and then and then and then the uh, the pouring, right, and then I saw, oh, wait a second, these bowls are what is being poured into, mm -hmm. and I heard and I heard the Holy Spirit say that these bowls are also the men that are being poured into yeah. and they are my sons yeah. my sons are being poured into and the the image and, and this now now i'm speaking designery right the image yeah. the image of the man turned into the image of this bowl which in essence is a type of vessel meaning yeah. a type of container and of course we know that he is the potter and we are the clay Come on. And yeah. so, ah, Koro said, and so, so that became right without even without me even like realizing what was happening. That became the the bowl became the yeah. man. The Come bowl on. became the man that we were pouring ourselves into. And I and at first I was struggling with that because it's like ah, in terms of a in terms of a design, right? Because that's this is still a client a client uh, designer relationship. Right. Uh, for those of you who just came in, Kenneth commissioned me to to design something for his blog, and this this is what it was. So, but the the issue became having having the men there and and having a painting of that wasn't the wasn't the design that I was that I was looking for in terms of something that would work for for an an immediate impact on on the people who are looking at it. And so when the Lord showed me to turn these to turn these the men into bowls and to have these pouring down, it, it it was like okay that was that was it. It was an immediate like sense of of that's the right direction to go in. And then with what Kay was saying, you know, all the all the extra layers of what this revealed and from from what he wrote five years ago and all of that, that just that just made it even even richer in terms of the context behind it. Uh, so so yeah, position ourselves, turn our hearts, turn turn your hearts, and th it, this is the preaching part now, right? Turn your hearts towards the Lord. Position yourself, position your heart towards Him, and receive 
him, receive him, right? Be the be that vessel that has been shaped and formed by the Lord and be poured into by him by staying still. Oh man. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You really got to elaborate on the bowls being shaped and fastened by God. That was a season or, and it should be a season that we engage him with and shaping and molding us for himself. You know what I'm saying? And, and so I'm seeing these bowls being fashioned and shaped by the powder. So that's another place of submission that people must go to before they're able to be poured into. You've got to submit to him shaping you. You got to submit to him molding you. You got to submit to him making you fit and perfect for his use so that he can cause you to submit in another place to begin to receive from him. And so, again, we are he is the potter and we are the clay. We are the workings of his hands. And so, again, that is so I just want to encourage people before you start trying to get poured into make sure he shaped you for what it is you're asking for. Make sure that he's molded you for what it is that you're petitioning him for, even though it's of himself, but there's still a preparation before you're getting poured into. You, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, that really is cool. And before, yeah. and added to that, um, Prof, I, I really appreciate you because he's talking about the preparation that goes into, you know, receiving mm -hmm. that from the Lord. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm seeing a lot now is like, we have to also examine our own selves and look at what have we exalted that should be in the place that God is too. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But we must move out the way to receive it, you know, because some of us, I don't know about you guys, but when God really started pouring in me, it caused me to make some decisions about what was really reigning over my heart, which is the mm. essence of idolatry. And that was a in scripture from top to bottom. That's something the Lord has been like, hey, dog, like, yeah, right. 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 A method of control, but uh, like you guys were just saying, a method of posture and position, you know, where your heart is. You know, sometimes we sing songs about our heart being there, but our life doesn't recognize him as first. Amen. And we may have Amen. to, you know, I and I'm transparent to say that I'm always in that season of examining my heart and seeing what needs to be shifted out the way so that God can be exalted, like Carmen just said, so that God be exalted. Because we, our lips say, like you said, your lips praise me, but your hearts are far from me. Far from lips me. say, God give me more. Our heart says that space is already taken up. Amen, amen. Right there. Oof. All right, well, let me say real quick, uh, what's up to, again, Carmen, Pastor Carmen Sanchez. And I saw Dahlia earlier, so ble blessings upon blessings to you, sis. Big shout out to you and uh, Salithia. Great to see you, sis. And I know I could have sworn I saw. Oh, oh, big shout out and big happy birthday to Chan, right? Chan Ooh. Oshien, uh, Osina. Uh, happy birthday to you. And Diane, blessings to you as well. Okay. So if there is, uh, Siobhan is here. Blessings to you. How you doing, Siobhan? All right, so if there's anybody who doesn't know the power of God's pouring, right, and doesn't even under, doesn't even know mm -hmm. that they want to be in a position to be poured into, <clears throat> what I absolutely strongly recommend is that you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He actually died on the cross for your sins, right? And let me just hold one second. Yeah, so he died on the cross for your sins and for mine. And because of his perfect sacrifice, we are in a position to be poured into once we believe that he died for our sins and he rose from the grave and now sits on the right hand of the Father and makes intercession for you and I. If, if you believe that, if you have confessed that, with uh, confess that in your with your mouth and believe it in your heart, then you too shall be saved. And you are my brother, you are my sister immediately. And so there is a complete, right, a complete Holy Spirit indwelling inside of you that just needs more and more of your flesh to go to be to be chipped away as you get stronger in the Lord. So be in position, turn your heart towards the Lord. 
find a position of repentance so that you may continue to grow in grace. All right, so I want to go ahead and leave a have a few moments for could we end with can we end with a prayer response? I don't I don't know what you mean by that. A prayer response. Uh, but what I want, do want to say is if oops, how do I get that three-way thing? There we go. Okay. So what I do want to say is if we can have a, just a couple of minutes for for uh, Joshua and Kenneth to share a little bit about where we can get in touch with you. Uh, there's some people here that have never met you, Joshua. Some people here that have never met you, Kenneth. And I would certainly like for them to be able to connect with I wanna you. Know, I want to know how I can support Kenneth. I love it. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bro right there. You can tell me you're downtown if I'm you. I'm coming like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. Let's connect. Let's build. <laughs> yeah. No, Ken is, Ken is an amazing man of God. And I had the privilege of meeting him for the first time in, two years ago now. Right. Yeah. And I so know. it's, and you know, and on these internet streets, two years is like, you know, 20. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't expect internet friends to, to friendships to last a while. So, yeah. So, we've had the pleasure of hanging out and uh, a couple of times went to went to uh, to to Texas where he lives and mm -hmm. he was in Atlanta for our first worship word art re mm -hmm. reun uh, reunion. Yeah. So So, yeah, no. Kenneth is a absolutely awesome man of God. Ruben, I'm just thinking. So, Thinking back to our special, our intimate moment that we had collectively in that hotel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like when, when we were worshiping the Lord, and mm -hmm. there was the pouring there. You know what I'm saying? And like so, yeah. I, I'm yeah. just seeing like, man, is it possible that we can be the agents where He wants to use to pour into others? You know what I'm saying? And then have that Ooh. huge release. You know that people are just receiving of a greater measure of his love, you know, and all, and right. he's not necessarily requiring you to do anything, but just to be present and to release and to share and to pour. Just like you talked about fathers pouring into sons, that is such a powerful truth, you know? And so I just, I'm just reminded about the time that we met, that we all received of him in such a very powerful way, you know, at the Worship Word Art Reunion. And even when I met you guys um, in that in that short time frame. so amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. Joshua, you can you can go first. Can you tell us a little bit about how we can uh, get your music? Uh, I, I think a, a lot of my friends have have heard your music before. Oh, they've seen uh -huh. they've seen us, you know, painting and you playing before <laughs> in in live settings. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you have music uh, out available. Yeah, we I couldn't hear what you said. Say it again. No, I was just saying, like, yeah, we've been partners for a while. It's been great. Right. <laughs> it's been yeah. an awesome journey. So how can how can people get some of your music? Um, yeah, so um if you go J Riv Music, J R I V E music, all one word. Um, I'm on Spotify. The single No More Pain is out. And the next single, which is a worst song called The Promise Song, will be out in two weeks. Um, so definitely want to free say that is a Holy Spirit driven song and it's all word based. So if you like word through music and prophecy through music, then that is definitely the song for you. Um, Ruben, I just love how you just, you just got it, man. You just, on it. <laughs> <laughs> we just give kingdom excellence. We just got to give it up. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> get me on Facebook, Instagram, all J Rib music. Um, if you want to shoot me an email for anything, J Rib music booking. I'm also a producer. So I do prayer music. Um, one person I've done it for is Courtney Martin. I do it a lot. Um, I hope to do more of these sessions with Ruben because these have definitely been, I feel like reaching a lot of people, but also been blessing me as well to be connected um, and, and to do things like this. Um, it's cool to, to be with people that are prophetic and you're hearing the same thing and you know you serve the same God. So it's really dope. So yes, yeah, stay connected and just watch Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. And we have an album coming out called The Process Chapter One, Songs of Hope. That'll be out by the end of the um, end of the summer, and also we have a prayer music mixtape that is coming this fall. So you definitely want to stay tuned. There's a lot of Holy Spirit music coming out. Yes. <laughs> so right. Yes. Excellent. 
That's awesome. All right, and Brother Kenneth. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. plug in one last oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I forgot about this. Yo, if you like um, prayer music like this tonight, I have, I'm every about two weeks, we're posting prayer music clips on my YouTube, j -Rib Music Again, and you can download it on SoundCloud for free. If you want to pray to it or whatever you have, it's totally free music, royalty free. So definitely go check that out. All right, Prophet Myra, I'm sorry. I just had to plug that in there. <laughs> Everyone's still there? Yeah, no, I would say uh, you said that way too fast. I'm right? sorry. <laughs> you said you said I heard royalty free music and I was like, wait a second, huh? So could you could you go ahead and yeah. say that again real slow so for us? Here, um, we've been obeying the Lord as far as releasing this kind of prayer music sound. And so if you go to J Rip Music, same kind of spelling, no spacing on YouTube and SoundCloud. You can get free prayer music clips and you can listen to them while you're praying or you can even download them for free because it's royalty free and it's a gift to people that um, want just music that steals their heart and what they get from the Lord. And that's all I was saying. Did, you, did I get it that time? Yep, YouTube free, dope. Exactly what I was saying. And on SoundCloud, um, if you want to download the MP3, it's on SoundCloud as well. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I actually just went ahead and uh, subscribed to him on uh, YouTube and I added him as a friend on Facebook. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, to connect yeah, with my awesome. Partner. That's fantastic. So how can, how can, okay, well, you got to tell us about your blog, like how we can, yes, yeah, when, yeah. when, when to, it, has it launched? Have you launched it yet or? Not yet. About? I'm just, okay. uh, just putting some different things into place. Um, I'm going to try to publish as often as he releases me to publish, you know? Um, so it's, which, you know, my goal is to do like once a week of publishing another measure, another measure. You know, um, I me I might uh, one of the things I say is steward your season well, and I think you just really just have to know the, the heart of the Father towards you in that specific season, so that you know where to put your focus in, and you know not you know how to not be distracted, so that you're not repeating things over and over and over again. And I believe God would you know allow me to use measures of His love to be able to help edify the people, maybe being able to identify a part of their season and and be able to give them focus um, in their personal relationship with God with what he may be trying to get them to understand um, about himself or what it is that he might be doing in him. Um, and so I am going to be releasing um, uh, my first post here. I will be uh, date or uh, uh, time stamping them as it pertains to certain things that he shares with me, shares with me because I can see some of the stuff that he shares with me. Well, a lot of stuff that he shares with me come to pass um, in different capacities, whether if it's national or just in people's personal life. Um, but you can connect with me on Facebook. My name is Kenneth Morrow. Um, or you can find me on Periscope, which is where I frequent a lot. Um, and my name on there is Kenneth D. Morrow on Periscope, uh, where I do a lot of edifying to the body of Christ on a more intimate basis. Um, and so you're more than welcome to connect with me on there. I'm definitely going to connect with Jay Riff because I'm trying to dive into the music arena as well because I do hear music. So please be on the lookout for me reaching out to you to get some assistance from you, brother. So, um, so amen. So yeah, but I'm definitely going. And so again, Measures of His Love is going to be a prophetic blog. Okay. Everything about it will be prophetic. Um, is me just whenever the Lord reveals something to me with beholding him and I'm just sharing what it is that he's, uh, you know, wanting us to know and to understand. And so, amen. Amen. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is, this is our evening. Uh, I absolutely appreciate everybody who came tonight. And of course, please do share the broadcast out that does help to, to spread this message and spread what it is that we're doing. Uh, this tends to be something that we don't see often 
right? We don't we don't tend to see these kind of things in a, in in a lot of places. So the the more we spread it out, the more hopefully we'll encourage others to do it. And because we you know we certainly don't want to be the only one. We want we want this to be. And I think I said this last week. We want this to be the norm. We want people to feel comfortable with having a a artist paint during a worship service and getting yeah. more and more of that out there. So, uh, so thank you again, everybody, for coming through. If you are willing to sow a seed, that's always an appreciated thing. You can go to. For Cash App, dollar sign R A R A N A. And then for PayPal, is paypal.me slash Arana Rubin. And always appreciate it. So uh, you're blessed regardless. And that just helps the, the ministry to, to flow and try to, well, not try, but we we will continue to to up the up the game, up the level. And do the the best that we possibly can and i am excited about the growth absolutely excited about the growth right exactly pastor sanchez right that this this will be the new normal we're going to have we're going to have prophetic artists and and poets and and more than just the dancers right poets and and visual artists and and lights and all the, yeah. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm just excited about the different potential that, that's out there. All right, so let me put my brothers on here one more time and we will call it a, a night. So thank you again, everybody for coming through. Uh, make sure you're following these two phenomenal men. And Lord willing, we'll catch each other again tomorrow, and we'll go we'll go from there. I think I'm I think I'm still going to be doing some courts of heaven uh, this week, so definitely stay tuned for that. All right, adios, God bless. Oh oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, did Okay. I wanted to, yeah, my bad. I wanted to. <laughs> it's all right, brother. We were just standing there because we were like, were we supposed to do something? <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. I, I think I pressed the wrong button. But but Lorena said she wanted prayer for something. I'm going to scroll back and see if what she was talking could about. Ask, could we maybe pray out? Um, okay. Yeah. Because so I was going to ask for two things, Ruben. I want to maybe you could just share a little bit about. Um, the red that you had posted on the table. If you could talk about that, um, if you don't mind. And then, um, also, I think when someone was asking earlier about you pr uh, that uh, uh, praying over something, I think they wanted us to begin to declare this over them. You know what from yeah. what was revealed. Oh, uh, that's what she know, meant. Yeah. So that's what I believe. What was being shared was: Can we like prophesy this, declare this truth that you know, in this posture, you know, over over? Got the, it. Uh, okay, absolutely. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about the the red, and then Ken, Ashley, if you if you want to release that prayer, okay. So in in the process, I knew that I needed a I wanted a shadow, right? I wanted a shadow for the cuffs because what uh, I'm I'm talking a little bit artistry, and the the shadow helps to ground the element, whatever element is on, on a surface. So for these bowls, the shadow helps to ground it onto the table. So that was the, that was the plan. The issue is that the table's already kind of dark. And so I needed a color that was, uh, that was going to show up well. And I knew it wasn't gonna be black because black, black would disrupt the, the, the color flow of, of what's here. 
And so as I was praying, I heard to use red and red has, and what, what red actually does is as a, a, a level of this blood that's also pouring, like it's kind of like it's pouring out of the bottom of the, of the, of the, of the bowl. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, it has like a, a dual imagery significance. It technically is a shadow that helps to ground it, but with it being red and, and the way that it's very, very liquidy in a sense, there is a, there's a, a, a sense of there's this blood that's coming out of this bowl. And so that's, mm -hmm. that's what that's about. There's, yeah, so. Wow. <laughs> wow. Awesome. awesome. Okay, well, yes, I'll go forth and I'll pray. Uh, I, I just feel the fire of God. And so we just want to just pray in agreement with what has been shared from his heart towards us and that we would agree with him and posture ourselves to receive from him. Yeah. Uh, so, Father, we just thank you for uh, this time and this gathering. Right. You tell us that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you said there you are also in the midst. We thank you for allowing us to be in your presence. What a wonderful opportunity it is to always uh, be in relationship with you and to engage you when you are wanting us to meet you. And so what a wonderful privilege it is to meet you here. Though cyberly, you are you are meeting us everywhere we're, we're at. And so, Father, we thank you just for this time. Uh, we thank you for the measures of your love. We thank you for allowing us, uh, uh, shaping us, molding us, and fastening us for your use, Father. So we submit to the process of being molded. We submit to the process of being shaped. We submit to the process of being mm. purified and refined in your fire that we may be fit and, joined and, and, and prepared for your use. Father, we also submit to the positioning to receive of yourself, Father. And so we thank you for positioning us in the right place that we may know where you are releasing in this season over our lives as you are beginning to teach us of yourself, reveal of yourself that we might be able to maintain the measure, maintain the release, maintain the flow of your love, of your spirit, of your kindness, of your gentleness that you're giving towards your people. And I even thank you for stabilizing and settling us, God, that we may be uh, empowered Posture, that there will be nothing missing, nothing wasted. We will not waste our measure. We will not waste, amen, nor be a poor steward of uh, the measure of yourself that you are giving unto us. And so, Father, we thank you for that. We even thank you for the invitation that you have given unto us by presenting the table, Father. So we um, agree and submit to your invitation to be intimate with you. To, uh, we agree, we submit, and we engage with you, and we will show up, right, in this time when you are teaching us, pouring us, pouring um, into us of yourself, Father, that we may behold you, that we may be able to be transformed into your image and into your likeness. Jesus, I'm asking even the more that you would begin to allow us to just be able to steward well the measure of your love and then be able to be transformed into that thing, not just to hold it, but to be changed in a moment and in an instance and in a twinkling of an eye as you are our focus, as you are what we put our gaze upon, Father. And so we thank you for um, making it uh, 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 plain and clear unto us what it is that's on your heart towards us. And so, Father, we thank you for that. I pray, God, for the anointing to be released over your people that destroys every yoke of bondage. I thank you that um, you have, uh, are, again, are working out pride out of the hearts of your people, Father, that they would uh, uh, have fruits of humility and love, amen, to be able to submit to whatever it is that you are saying. So, again, Father, we just ask you to just have your way and then bless our brothers who also poured um, on this uh scope, I guess, as well. And Father, again, just bless them even the more. Thank you for their time, their gifts, Father, and their love that has been displayed here. In the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. God bless. And Lord willing, we'll see each other again on a later date. Amen. Amen.